everyone. I'm, I'm Stephanie Royer Moss. Uh, I finished my residency in 2016 and I'm a MedPeds hospitalist at Cleveland Clinic. Um, I feel like during my residency at Michigan, everyone was so supportive and made the experience really fun. We always worked really hard, but everyone loved to learn. I still miss medicine, morbidity, mortality conference and um, PEDS Friday morning report. Um, and I really felt that my mentors truly cared about my formation as a physician. And on top of that, my co-residents and I always had so much fun together, whether it was the um, demolition derby at the Chelsea Fair or the Ann Arbor Marathon or dinners at Grizzly Peak. Um, I think the most important quality of a residency program is the community and Michigan was always there for me. Hi, I'm Dr. Jackie Madison. I graduated MedPeds residency at Michigan in 2017. I am currently in my final year of MedPeds rheumatology fellowship training, still at the University of Michigan. Uh, my MedPeds residency prepared me superbly well for fellowship training by giving me, um, you know, broad clinical exposure, both adult and pediatric, general and subspecialty care. Hi, I'm Sam Wilson, a 2018 graduate of the Michigan MedPeds program currently pursuing additional training in pediatric hematology and oncology, as well as adult hematology at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. The culture of MedPs at Michigan is strong. This culture, plus the rigorous training, as well as the seamless integration between pediatric and adult medicine, is all what prepared me to pursue this combined fellowship. I know that I would not be here where I'm at today without the training, support, and mentorship I received from the Michigan Med Peace Program. Hi, my name is Adrian Carey, and I attended MedPeds residency at the University of Michigan from 2013 to 2017. Right now, I'm an assistant professor at the University of Utah, and I am the program director for the Infectious Diseases Fellowship. Michigan prepared me really well to come out into the workforce and to be ready for an intense infectious diseases fellowship. And I love to tell everybody I see in the hospital with the block M, go blue. Hi, I'm Andrea Hadley. I graduated from the MedPeds residency at U of M in 2015. I'm a MedPeds hospitalist in Grand Rapids, Michigan and chief of pediatric hospital medicine at Helen DeVos <laughs> Children's Hospital. I had my spunky <laughs> daughter Claire during my third year of MedPeds residency and felt very well supported there. And even though I work for Michigan State now, I'm happy to always say, Go Bluey Bluey Blue! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Ryan. I'm a recent graduate of MedPeds here and just started my job as a IM hospitalist also at Michigan. Um, just wanted to say a couple things about why I really liked MedPeds residency here. One, I can say I definitely feel super prepared now that I'm totally just taking care of patients on my own. Um, also, a lot of people tend to stay because Michigan really just provides like a super awesome community of people so I'm working with a lot of people who I went to residency with and that's really nice to have those people around. What's going on out there? Welcome to Michigan Medicine. My name is Jay Flynn, 2016 graduate of the internal medicine and pediatric program. Currently I am working at the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium where I've worked since I graduated in 2016. I do full spectrum internal medicine and pediatrics uh, adult hospital work at a tertiary care center in Anchorage, and then I spend the remainder of my time in Nome, Alaska at a critical access hospital doing outpatient uh, pediatrics and internal medicine. I'm also able uh, to travel to some more remote villages and work on vaccine rates with our pediatric population. I'm lucky I work with two other Michigan grads, Kyle Pohl, uh, who graduated with me um, in 2016 from the internal medicine and pediatric residency program, and then Peter Bosch, who was an internal medicine resident who graduated in 2016, who's um, solely at adult hospitals in Anchorage. Kyle does the same thing that I do. The big question is why Michigan? Um, and I think at the end of the day, when you're looking at residency programs or you're looking at first jobs, uh, the m number one thing that matters is the people. If you don't click with the people, um, then you know, it's probably not gonna be a good fit and you're not gonna be able to take advantage of all the 
learning opportunities. I think the second thing uh, that was really important to me was being in a resident run uh, program. And I definitely feel that that was that way at Michigan. Um, we have great support from our attendings, uh, great educational opportunities, but at the end of the day, the residents are the ones that are running the program, which I think is uh, very important in uh, developing your independence and your ability to transition. Um, and then the third thing, which was probably the most important thing to me because I always knew I wanted to do rural medicine, um, was the breadth of the program. Um, and Michigan's, the size of Michigan's system allows you to see and take care of patients in every setting and every stage of their disease. So that when you make the transition um, to the out, you know, to the outside of the university or to that next step of being an attending, um, you've ex been exposed um, and that you can actually take care of patients. And I feel like Michigan did an awesome job of that. Um, and I was actually able to tailor some of my uh, electives to allow me to get more exposure so that when I transitioned to a rural environment, I would be able to be an effective provider. Um, and that was also very helpful. Hi everyone, my name is Marie Farr. Um, I am a Michigan Med Peds graduate of 2018. I'm currently a second year pediatric hospital medicine fellow at Cincinnati Children's. To describe my Michigan Med Peds residency in a few short seconds is nearly impossible. Um, I will just tell you that um, they were an amazing four years of my life where I met incredible colleagues, friends, and mentors. Um, uh, in addition, I just feel like it has prepared me to be such a well-rounded physician with a wealth of clinical experience um, that's really ready for anything that comes my way. Um, and I am uh, forever proud to be a Michigan MedPeds alum. Hi, my name is Julie Barrett and I'm from the class of 2019. I'm a MedPeds hospitalist here at the University of Michigan. I can tell you without a doubt that choosing to train here was one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Never thought I'd say this about residency, but I had so much fun. I worked very hard, but I had a lot of fun. And that's because both on medicine and pediatrics, there's an incredibly supportive and inclusive training environment. Also, living in Ann Arbor is pretty amazing, especially if you love outdoor activities. Also, as someone originally from the South, I can tell you, do not be afraid of the winter. It's actually pretty great. Hi everyone, my name is Ade Nuga. I'm one of the recent graduates of the MedPeds program at University of Michigan. Uh, I graduated this past June, and then after that moved out to Washington, and I'm now practicing MedPeds primary care in Washington State. Uh, for Michigan specifically, it's a phenomenal program. Great support on the internal medicine and pediatric sides, and I made great friends. I'm really glad that I chose Michigan for my training. Um, I feel like I was well prepared for my next step, which was primary care, and so far I'm enjoying it very much. Hi, my name is Robin Goldman, and I finished my MedPeds residency at Michigan in 2014. After residency, I did a global health fellowship where I had the chance to work with Partners in Health in Haiti. And then following fellowship, I joined faculty at the University of California, San Francisco. I work part-time as a medicine hospitalist at the San Francisco VA and part-time as a pediatric hospitalist at one of our community affiliated hospitals. And then I also spend time um, on faculty development and um, working for a global health equity fellowship called the HEAL Initiative from when I interviewed at Michigan and um, Michael Lukela asked me some really hard questions about my thoughts on the healthcare system uh, to um, the support I received um, going through my residency rotations and thinking about career plans and um, how to do work within medicine that really focused on underserved populations, health equity, and social justice. Um, my co-residents and um, the leadership of the MedPeds program, the medicine program, and the PEDS program have um, been really supportive um, and helped me along the way um, and still are available um, to uh, mentor and support me, and that um, has been really meaningful for me. Hi, my name is Karina Whalen, and I graduated from the University of Michigan MedPeds program in 2017. 
I am a clinician educator and a primary care doctor. My residency at Michigan prepared me to be the person who I am today because it gave me an amazing outpatient clinic experience in a med peds clinic with mentors who have shaped me into the doctor that I am. Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Bender and I am a former U of M med peds resident who graduated in 2020. Uh, I also went there for medical school uh, and subsequently drank the Kool-Aid. Uh, I think what's special about uh, U of M's MedPeds program is that uh, whatever type of doctor you want to become, whether that's a researcher or a primary care physician or a subspecialist, uh, we have the tools and resources that you need to become whatever you want to be. And I think we're unique in that we can offer really top-notch training in pediatrics and internal medicine in an environment that's super collegial and collaborative.